Still from the presidential task force, COVID-19, the force has called on Nigerians to continue to comply with the measures put in place to curb the spread of coronavirus in the country. The national coordinator, Sani Aliyu, made the call on Monday at a briefing of the task force in Abuja, the nation's capital. Ahead of Idel Kabir's celebrations, he specifically urged Muslims to remember that the COVID-19 protocols remain in force. The coordinator asked them to avoid mass gatherings during Salah and observe social distancing while observing the Eid prayers. He called on clerics not to allow people in the mosque without face masks and measures that, that ensure and rather ensure that the total duration for prayers, including summons, should not exceed one hour. Joining us now is Saidu Bashir, a public affairs analyst. Thank you for joining us. Let's, let's begin quickly by asking, how excited are you? At least there is something to celebrate for a change. Absolutely. There's um, a whole lot to celebrate. Uh, this is a season of gratitude. Um, I'm very glad to be alive today. I mean, the people who had uh, planned, you know, to witness this celebration and they're not, they're no longer with us today. So there's every reason, you know, to be, um, to be grateful for life. Uh, with COVID-19, life has changed quite reasonably. What will this mean uh, for the celebration of this Eid? Um, well, you know, now we hear words like uh, new normal, uh, things are not the way they used to be anymore. You know, we have to be very careful, you know, observe the protocol, uh, ensure that uh, we use face mask and, uh, uh, you know, um, ensure that uh, we, we observe all the protocols that have been set aside. Because uh, as, as you mentioned earlier, there's a major crisis going on. Uh, the pandemic is not going uh, anytime soon, as we've seen, until maybe a vaccine is uh, is approved. Uh, other than that, now we have to ensure that we keep safe and uh, uh, ensure that. Uh, Follow basically all the protocols. Now, the respected, yeah. um, very respected Sultan has also reiterated the warnings of the PTF and COVID-19 to observe all protocols. Are you hopeful that this will be followed to the later, considering the fact that, I mean, in, in the past couple of weeks, people are becoming last with the use of face masks and the observance of social distancing? Uh, unfortunately, um People have not observed the protocols, and for obvious reasons, you know, people are frustrated that uh, they're not seeing positive moves. Government has put measures in place; they've asked them to wear protocol, uh, to wear face mask, uh, observe certain process uh, pro uh, protocols, but they're not seeing things that would help them. In fact, there are a lot of people today who don't believe that this uh, coronavirus is even real. Sure. You know, but the truth is the corona is real and it's here. We need, we need, we need, government needs to uh, sensitize uh, people more. You know, they need to go out there and uh, campaign on the importance of, uh, of uh, uh, keeping safe. What, what's your word to Nigerians, um, particularly a Muslim faithful, as uh, you prepare for this all-important festivity? This festival is festival festival of sacrifice. This is the time where Prophet Ibrahim sacrificed his uh, love son, wanted to sacrifice his love son for the love of God. So this period is a season of sacrifice. It's a period where we uh, remember all those who are less privileged, our neighbors, our family members who can afford, because these are difficult times for Nigerians. So this is a time where you have to think of the less privileged and try to reach out and help. So it's an important season. It's a festival of giving. And I all think right. we should all uh, take advantage of the season. You know, Mr. To see how Saidu we can Bashir, thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you. Girl.